Yesterday, we had the opportunity to gather the honey from the bees. Bees are my passion. I love bees. I think it's amazing how they work together and they create honey. And as you can see right now, they're all at the opening of the, the box and they're creating honey right now. In a day of my life, I pick fig trees. Every day, I climb this tree and I pick a fig tree. Every day, this tree provides for me figs. Figs is an important resource in Jordan. It's very nutri nutritional and everyone eats it. It's, you know, it's known throughout the society, this society in Jordan, especially in the Middle East. So I'll show you how I climb this tree and pick. Um, now I'm looking for a ripe one. There's, it's no way that you won't find a ripe one. Every day I find a ripe fig in this tree. Takes a while, but you know, patience is key. Patience is a virtue. And when the figs turn ripe, they turn a purplish color. As you can see, this one's ripe. So I'm going to spin and pick the fig. I got three figs, now it's time for me to get down. They're beautiful, now let's go eat them. Olives are very important to, to the Middle Eastern people. We use olives for all, pretty much everything. We, we make uh, olive oil out of it, and we use it in all our main dishes, you know. And sometimes we even pickle them. It tastes so good in the morning for breakfast. As you can see, these are all olive trees behind you. Behind you, these are all olive trees, and they just grow. They grow throughout the streets. Beautiful. These are all olives throughout the streets of Jordan. So beautiful how they grow. Olives, you can't just eat them off the tree, they're so bitter. They have to be processed and you can turn them into olive oil, which we use in food, or you could pickle them. Pretty much we use them for a lot of things in Jordan. Very important. They're beautiful. They just grow throughout the streets. They're very beautiful. You wouldn't believe how much nutrition this little olive holds. Very nutritional.